Hey guys, so I got a graphics card right here and a power supply. The power supply is about 310 watts. So what happens when you try to power some power supplies, they only, they require um, an 8 pin connector. Some of them require uh, eight plus a six pin, which this power supply is a little older, I guess, and only has a six pin connector for um, graphics card or GPU. GPU is just short for graphics card, but as you can see, the six pin still fits. It just needs two more cables now. <clears throat> Um, any other person would go out and they would have to go buy another power supply. I found out that uh, the last two pins, what they actually are, are grounds. So what you need to do is find out which ones are your main uh, power cables, which usually the power cables Let me find this one. I already did this one. The power cables are the yellow ones, usually. So, and they're all straight in a row. So, this one will have yellow. Uh, the power uh, positives will have yellow stripes, usually, or all yellow, or all red. And uh, negatives will, will be black. So, well, or neutrals or whatever, um, grounds, uh, probably not neutral, but grounds, usually the grounds are um, facing the little clip with the clip at, so what you need to do is, I already went ahead and found an other extra power supply. And this is like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven pin across. So it will be like twenty two, one, two, three, six, nine, ten. Well, ten pins, so twenty pin. I guess it was a twenty pin. I already cut two pins off of it. Newer, the reason I don't want to uh, butcher this one because it's a, only a 10 pin most I think are 24 pin now <clears throat> the new ones so essentially I had no use for this shit but cut this off um, so I cut them with the blade straight across like that cut it down and um, probably cut about three inches maybe two and a half cut it and then you'll end up <clears throat> with the two pin connector um, like this now I can come in and just uh, hook up. Bam. Now we have an 8 pin connector ready to supply some power. Now we gotta, like I said, we gotta hook it up to the negatives. Usually, uh, sometimes you can depin them and then solder them on there. Let's see if I can get away with just sticking them in there for now.
we can make good contact. And our GPU fires up. And use every time you use um, <clears throat> well, uh, one cable, go to the see how I went to that pin, go to the next pin, which will be this one, the next cable. All right, so if you can depend them, depend them, or you could cut on the side like that twist this around it once you have cut and then solder it that probably be the nicer way to do it and then uh, probably stick a sleeve in here before you do that uh, shrink sleeve and then once you solder it shrink it you know and that would look kind of nice most power supplies with the already pinned uh, negatives on them, they'll go into the it like this. But uh, yeah, I could probably try to depend them here in a minute, but we'll see how this goes first. Just to test it out, Let's get the set going, I guess. Kind of raggedy. If you have no display, once you do hook everything up, <clears throat> then it's probably not making good uh, ground. So you probably have to go the solder way <laughs> to be easier. Or depin the cables, the negative cables, and then open them up and uh, or solder the new negative cables into each deep in the cable all right hope you guys learned something new and uh, maybe I can upload a video about the graphics card working all right see ya